everyone welcome to Rashmi's corner today we are going to discuss about the topic addition addition of one digit numbers and two digit numbers I mean one digit number together and one digit number with a two digit number now what is addition addition means putting together or combining together now you have learned many methods of addition in your smaller classes. The Abacus method, number line method, counting both the numbers in your hand. Now all these methods requires time and you can draw the number line for each time you want to add. So we go for the easiest method that is taking one number in your mind and taking the other number in your hand. So let us go for uh, example so that you will understand more. Now while doing this method, one thing to be always remembered is while taking the number in your mind, you should always take the biggest number. Okay, so let's go on to the example. Here the first example is 3 plus 5. Here which is the biggest number 3 or 5? Five? 5. So, which number you take on to your mind? 5. So, 5 in your mind and 3 in your hand. Count forward after 5, 6, 7, 8. So, what is the answer? 8 is the answer. Next example. 4 and 2. Which is the bigger number here? 4 is the bigger number. So, again, you take the bigger number into your mind and the smaller number into your hand. So what is it? 4 in your mind and 2 in your hand. After 4, 5, 6. So what is the answer you got? 6. One more example let us do. 8 and 2. 8 plus 2. Which is a bigger number? 8 is the bigger number. So, 8 in your mind and 2 in your hand. Count forward after 8, 9, 10. So, what is the answer? 10. You get the answer 10. We have one more example. Let's be more clear. 7 plus 4. So, which is the bigger number here? 7 or 4? 7. So, you take 7 in your mind and 4 in your hand. And count forward after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What is the answer? 11. So, 11 is your answer. Now, these are the additions when it is a one digit number. Now, what happens when a two digit number is to be added with a one digit number? Let us go for some examples. Through examples, it will be more clear to understand. So, let's go for an example. A two-digit number with a one-digit number. So, first example, I'm writing 10 plus 4. We do it in the same method. What was that? Keeping the bigger number in your mind and the smaller number in your hand. So, it is a bigger number here. 10 is the bigger number. So you keep 10 in your mind, 4 in your hand. After 10, count forward. 11, 12, 13, 14. What is the answer? 14. One other example. 15 plus 2. Which is a bigger number here? 15 or 2? 15. So, 15 in your mind and 2 in your hand. Count forward after 15, 16, 17. So, the answer is 17. So, this is how when a two-digit number comes. You keep the still, you follow the same rule. You keep the bigger number in your mind and smaller number in your hand. Now, what should you do when you get the question like 3 plus 17? So here the bigger number is written down. But still whenever you take the number in your mind, always take the bigger.
bigger number onto your mind. Which is the bigger number here? 17. So 17 in your mind and 3 in your hand. Counting forward after 17, 18, 19, 20. So what is the answer? 20. One more example. 2 plus 22. How do you do this? Again, the bigger number is given down. So, what do you take? Which number do you take in the mind? Again, you take the bigger number, which is 22. 22 in your mind and 2 in your hand. After 22, 23, 24. What is the answer? 24. Now, what happens when... Question comes like this. 22 plus 0. Addition with 0. What happens when a number is added with 0? You get the same number itself. Always remember, any number you added with 0, you are getting the number itself. So 22 plus 0, you get 22 itself. 24 plus 0. 24 plus 0. What do you get? You get the number itself. So that is 24 plus 0. You get 24 itself. So that was the addition with 0. So when a 0 comes, you get the number itself. Now what happens when you add with one when you add a number with one let us see what do you get when you add a number with one 40 plus one how do you add this 40 plus one always remember any number adding to one is the number which comes after so what is the number here 40 so, uh, which is the number which comes after 40? 41. So, what is 40 plus 1? The number which comes after. So, answer is 41. Now, another example. 25 plus 1. Which is the number which comes after 25? 26. So, you got the answer to be 26. So, any number adding, any number, any number adding with 1 is the number after, is the number after. So, always remember, any number you add it with 1, you get the number after. So this is all which you have to learn as a basics for uh, addition with one digit and one digit with two digit number. So let us just revise what all we did today. First one we did was the uh, addition of two numbers of one digit. For example, 3 plus 5. How do you do? You keep the bigger number in your mind, 5 in your mind, 3 in your hand, after 5, 6, 7, Eight. You get the answer 8. Then we went to addition of one digit number with a two digit number. For example, 11 plus 2. How did you add this? You took the bigger number in your mind and the smaller number in your hand. Here the bigger number was 11. So you took 11 in your mind, 2 in your hand. So after 11, count forward, 12. 13. So you got the answer to be 13. Then we talked about addition with 0. How is that? Any number added to 0 is the number itself. Very easy addition. Any number added to 0 is the number itself. Then we talked about addition with 1. How is that? Any number adding with 1 is the number that comes after. Here we have the example 25 plus 1 is same as the number which comes after 25 which is 26. 
Here another example we did. 40 plus 1, which is the number comes after 40 is 41. So what is 40 plus 1? 41. So that was all about addition. And now let me say a bye and see you soon with another topic in Rashmi's Corner.